Hello friends, in this video we are going to practice dynamic IP routing with three routers with easy steps and after that you will be able to perform the dynamic IP routing with four, five or any number of routers because dynamic routing is much more easier than the static routing. We have already done this for two routers. So if you have not done that, you can find the link in the description box. So let's start the lecture. Here we are using the same network that we have used for the static configuration of three routers. Every network is having exactly one host, but you may have the multiple host connected in a network or a router connected to multiple networks is also possible. But just to keep the thing simple, I am using one host per network and I am using three networks connected via three routers so here exactly we are going to have five networks as this is the first network second network and this is third network this will be your fourth network because routers connection will form every routers connection is going to form a different network and this will be your fifth network so you need to assign different id network ids for every network okay because router is supposed to connect means every port of network every port of router is supposed to have a connection with different networks so you cannot have the same network id for any routers port so here i am using the network id as 10.0.0.0 for this first network network id as 20 for this second net, uh, network, network ID is 30 for this third network and network ID is 40 for this fourth network, network ID is 50 for this fifth network. Just to keep the things easy and simple to understand, this is first network 10, this is 20 as the th uh, second network, 30 is your third network. 40 and 50 are your fourth and fifth networks respectively and these are uh, these all are class a addressing so subnet mask will be 255.0.0.0 right so let's see the uh, setup of this network then we will start the uh, start setting the routing information protocol for dynamic routing so let's see the uh, system setting and configuration here I have already added the switches and the host you can see the host are already configured this is your first host of the first network with network ID as 10.1.1 and this is the gateway so I am using the next IP of the next available uh, IP of the network as a gateway IP you can use any other ID but network ID must be same for the gateway okay so for the second network the host configuration is this network id is this and the gateway is 20.1.2 i am keeping the same pattern for third network as well i am using the network uh, uh, id as 30 and the host id as 30.1.1.1 and the gateway as 30.1.1.2 okay now let's just make the connections for this uh, switch I am going to connect it with fast ethernet 1 slash 1 and here with the router I am going to connect it with fast ethernet 0 slash 0. If I am using router PT, if you are using any other router then you need to add, you may need to add uh, the serial ports manually or other fast ethernet ports manually but here with router PT I have four fast ethernet modes and the two serial ports. Okay, So you may use um, uh, this router. Uh, router PT for your connections now the routers are connected but not configured so for every port of the router for every port of the router we need to prov uh, provide the IP addresses and if the port is connected to a network then we will be providing the gateway address otherwise we will be providing the unique IP address of the network okay so here as this port is connected to this uh, a gateway or, or a network so we need to provide it a gateway address so this is the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 as we have just seen so turn it on and provide the gateway of the network connected network 10.1.1.2 okay and subnet mask is taken so the connection turned active now for the second router here also we have connected to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 turn it on 
and this time we have the uh, gateway as 20.1.2 subnet mask done of class A now for the third router again we have fast ethernet 0 slash 0 turn the connection on and this time we have gateway as 30.1.1.2 okay so router is configured for their respective means directly connected networks so let's just connect the routers to each other through the serial cable I am using serial 2 slash 0 port here and here also I am using the same port just to avoid the confusion here I am using serial 3 slash 0 and here also I am using serial 3 slash 0 so you may connect with any port of your choice I am just keeping uh, the same port for the one network so here we have serial 2 slash 0 here we have serial 3 slash 0 so let's just configure these ports so for this first router serial 2 slash 0 turned on and the network uh, sorry sorry the IP address for this port is 40.1.1.1 okay done now the second IP of this network will be 40.1.1.2 that is at the serial port 2 slash 0 of the second router turn it on and provide it the IP address 10.40.1.1.2 if you try to provide any ID like 50 or uh, 20 or 10 to uh, that that are already assigned then you will get a error over here okay so you uh, try uh, you need to provide always the uh, different network ID for different ports of the router okay so here for this port I am using the uh, network ID as 40 for second port I am using the network ID as 50 and here I am using network ID as 20 you cannot have the same network ID connected via different ports of the router so done now these connection uh, turned active now let's just configure the router for this connection and uh, this is connected to serial 3 slash 0 turn it on and this time I am providing the network ID as 50 and the host ID as 1.1.1 .1 .1. done and, and other side also 3 slash 0 I am using the same port numbers ok for the connections so here also I am providing the network ID 50.1.1.2 2 as the host ID now the connections are active now the routers are connected to each other you can check success if you try sending within a network from host to the router again you got a success let's check the host the connections of all the networks because if there would be any problem routing uh, you cannot perform the routing so here we got the success means our connections are okay routers are connected to their neighboring routers only but routers are not connected to the neighbors of their neighbors okay so let's just try sending a packet from one router first router or r0 to r2 you will get a failure and you will always get a failure because we have not defined the routing so let's just quickly define the routing and let's just see the steps of dynamic routing or dynamic configuring the routers for the routing so here for router 0 unlike dynamic routing we just need to keep track of directly connected networks as we were uh, defining the routes for other networks other uh, connections in the static routing here we just need to take care of directly connected network as we can see the router 0 is directly connected to 40 and 10 means two networks are directly connected with router 0 so for router 0 configuration you need to provide routing information protocol with two networks first is 10 and next is 40 and the configuration is done so let's just configure the router go to router config this time I am not going to select static we are defining the dynamic so we will be moving to RIP and simply add the networks as the router one router 0 is connected to 40 net, uh, network 40 40.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. 
okay and just click on add and the second direct connection is with 10 network network with id 10 so simply add the second network to the routing list done so routers router zeros or we can say the first routers configuration is done for second router now the second router or router 1 is connected to uh, directly to three networks 40 50 and 20 so we need to write or define all of these networks in the uh, in their uh, list okay for the routing information protocol means we are providing the information to the uh, uh, to routing information protocol that this router is connected to these neighboring routers so first we will be adding the network 40 this 40 next 20 and last connected network is 50 so just add the last connect networks id and the information is done now rip routing information protocol can easily understand the router's path okay and can find out the shortest path every time now the last router we need to configure is r2 and for r2 the available option or direct connection are with uh, network 50 and network 30 means network with id 50 and network with id 30 so we need to define only these two networks for the dynamic list so just open the router go to config rip add the uh, 50 net uh, network number 50 and the 30 50 click add and next we need to add the network 30 add so the dynamic routing is done okay so it is taking very less time than the static routing let's just check the uh, connections whether the connections are okay or not uh, or we able to communicate via networks or not so let's try sending the packet from router 0 to router 2 and we got a success that means our connections are done uh, and okay now let's try sending from uh, host of network 3 to the router of network 1 also we got the success and next now try sending the data packet unit from net first network to the third network and we got a success so dynamic routing is done so uh, hope you have learned something from this video see you in the next video take care bye